pieces of my butterfly house and added in some of the uh, netting that you can buy for vegetable gardens and this is what we're going to use to hold up my vines this year um, because something had to be put here I was using the picket fence previously and it appears to be pretty damaged so we decided to go with this as a temporary and if we can salvage any of the picket fence and get it put back up, we're just going to put it in front of this. I wanted to show you this from the inside too, not just from the outside. I am definitely really liking how this is looking. And I especially love this. Um, it's holding really, really well. And I have some vines on this. Um, this is getting kind of brittle, which I didn't realize that when we chose it and put it up. But these vines will eventually be able to grow and grow over here onto the netting. So that's going to be nice. This was sold to me as a peach tree, which it is not. I believe it is a smoke tree, but I'm not 100% positive on that. So if anybody knows what it is, please leave it in the comments below. This is a ground cover that was given to me, and again, I don't know what it is. So if you know what it is, leave it in the comments below. It can be really aggressive, but I really love the bright yellow color, and we just mow down what gets in our walkways. Using a lot of ground cover is important to me because I don't like to use mulch because I know that the butterflies and the bees need the nutrients from the soil. So as an alternative to mulch, I use ground cover whenever I can. I think this is gorgeous. This is um, some hyacinths that came with the house and a gorgeous yellow daffodil. That color combination just looks so great. This is the first viburnum of the season to flower. It does not have a fragrance that I can tell, but this is a native plant. This is a nice patch of tulips that I have out in the butterfly garden and they are open. They actually change colors as they age. This is my Crown Imperial, which I absolutely love. The quince are blooming, and while I have only got one fruit off of these trees one year, the butterflies absolutely love getting in here, and the birds as well, they build nests in these every year. The pear trees are in bloom, and this right here is my banana fruit smoothie that I use to keep the insects out of my trees. This is the lettuce that we planted before that last snowstorm and the pansies and violas. They're doing great. Moving on up the hill, the lilacs are starting to really swell with their buds, so it's not going to be long before these burst into bloom. I love the way this tulip looks absolutely gorgeous colors. This is a nice mix of tulips and daffodils, some just opening, some fading. It won't be long before this tulip is open. Some pretty red and yellow tulips growing side by side. This is a variegated lilac for those of you that have not seen one. I really love the foliage. I got one bloom off of this last year, none off of the other variegated ones in my yard, but it's pretty just for the foliage. This is our vegetable garden area, and we did not get it tilled like we had planned. So that still needs to be done, but we did mow some of the taller grass and stuff down where it had not been used last year. This is one of the hellebores in the shade garden area. And this is my variegated for Cynthia. Those leaves are not... Uh, those are leaves, not flowers, sorry. I lost my train of thought there. But those leaves are actually variegated. Absolutely gorgeous plant. The Virginia bluebells are also flowering right now. I absolutely love this plant. Another one of my favorite spring plants is this native poppy. It's mound. 
blooms and has these lovely yellow blooms and it's very nice. I've let it go to seed and it doesn't seem to be invasive. It just seems to mound up like this and looks really good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of the garden. Um, I actually know I have some packages coming today, so I have been stalling a little bit for those to get here. It's almost five o'clock and I was real concerned that either I had a substitute mailman who couldn't find my mailbox or who just didn't leave the packages. So I called the post office and this is what they said. They are actually having staffing issues. Um, so I have no idea what that's about, but anyway, they said that it could be six o'clock or so before I get my mail. Well, that's pushing it too close to my seven o'clock deadline. So I imagine I'm gonna do my unboxing video as a separate video tonight because I'm really wanting to get into the things I have coming and take a look. Of course, that does depend on what actually does show up today. Um, it may be something that I can wait till tomorrow. I don't remember what all I have coming. So anyway, you can look forward to either a separate unboxing video or some product review items tomorrow in our daily vlog. I think it was a really busy weekend. I did not get everything done on my list that I wanted to get done, but you know, it happens sometimes. Um, I am really very happy with the way the front yard is looking and there's a lot of cleanup from the wind damage, but truthfully, the fence needed redone, the trellises needed to come down and be gotten rid of and new ones put up because the wood was rotting a little bit. So, you know, things change. Um, as a matter of fact, I just see my mailman now. Okay, so I am really glad that he got here. Um, there was a package with postage due and he said he thought it was just bulk mail. It had no return address, nothing on it. So I said, you know what? I'm not gonna pay it because he didn't have change and I didn't have enough change here to pay for it. So we just sent that back. Um, I'm sorry, but if you're gonna send me mail, you need to put the correct postage on it because I don't keep change on hand. Okay, sorry about all that vibration. That was Charlie shaking the table because he does that. Um, he was very upset the mailman was here. And of course the mailman says to me immediately, keep your dog inside. I don't let my dog outside unless he's on a leash. So um, I don't know why my mailman is so afraid of my dog, but anyway. Um, I do need to tell you before we begin, I did receive these items for free or at a reduced price in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own. I had to move the camera again because Charlie is just determined he's going to get against this table and wiggle. So the first item is, oh, wow, look at this, professional two-way radios. Uh, sorry. Okay, try this again. He has moved. Um, I don't know what his deal is tonight, but anyway, these are professional two-way radios and, um, this should be pretty fun to play with. So um, I look forward to that. And I have another box here with a couple items in it. So let me pull those out. Um, let's see. First I have, this is an LED grow light. I'm not even joking you. It's also a desk lamp. And I thought, well, wasn't this cute? So I decided that I would review it. And now I'm really interested to see what it's going to actually do because look how small that is. I mean, I know it can be powerful and be small, but I'm very curious. It does clip on, so that's gonna be really nice because sometimes I have plants on shelves and stuff and I want those clip on lights. Um, especially if I have something I really wanna give some extra light to and maybe I don't want to light up everything on the shelf quite so much. So that will be interesting. And the other item, um, let me open this up. It's a little purse, um, but not really. <laughs> this is cardboard and um, ah, it pulls out like a little drawer. Well, that is really cool. 
Inside though, are Russian piping tips. And I am really looking forward to giving these a try. Um, they are quite large. So I think they will fit on my big, look at that. Those definitely don't fit on the smaller Wilton. Uh, oh, now I've lost my word. Anyway, the smaller Wilton item that I have for uh, piping icing, but I have a larger decorating icing kit I guess you would call it. Um, I don't remember the exact name offhand, but it takes the larger tips. And so those should work on that. And so I really look forward to giving them a try. Um, I don't know what Charlie's problem is. He's barking. So I guess I'm going to go check that out. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching and have a great night.